Hi, everyone. Welcome to Domain Sherpa, and thank you for tuning in to the podcast with the best domain name and digital asset content in the world. Today's episode is a Domain Sherpa review titled Eye of the Siger, featuring Drew, Amar, and of course, Michael Siger, the original founder of Domain Sherpa. On today's show, we play the domain game featuring Chainfest.com, Creatorful.com, and Li.net. Then we've got the Name Jet in a Jet segment sponsored by Name Jet, and we talk about some domains coming up for auction, including GPAI.com, GreenDesign.com, prestigeproperties.com and tools.net. And then we get into some additional topics such as the impact that Google is having and will have on rebrands and other domain upgrades and why that might lead to companies targeting their exactmatch.com sooner in their journey. Mike then brings up some issues that he's seen on the Domain Sherpa website. We talk about our planned redesign. We also talk about pyramid.com where Mike is combining his million dollar domain name with a thousand dollars worth of coding to bring his pyramid solitaire game to everybody. I can tell you that I've played it. It's addictive and if you have haven't tried it yet, you've got to go to pyramid.com and check that out. And last but not least, we talk about a micro naming trend that Michael has come across and whether the other Sherpas think they will have any staying power. All that and more is coming up now on today's show. And remember, if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, you can also watch the video version at domainsherpa.com and on our YouTube channel at ds.tv. You can also listen to the show on Apple and Spotify and the other podcast platforms as well. And please make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and all that good stuff everywhere that you can and help Domain Sherpa grow the pie. We also integrate our shows with Muse.ai, which provides some search functionality as well as the transcripts, so definitely check all that out. And props to our sponsor, Dan.com, the number one place in the world to buy and sell your domains with a special platform made for domain investors. And special shout out to our own business, Media Options, the number one domain brokerage in the world, specializing in domain acquisition, sales, and appraisals. Find out more at MediaOptions.com, where you can sign up for our newsletter for the best domain names and domain opportunities available in the market every week, and also featuring key insights and other helpful information related to branding, naming, and of course, domain investing. And last but not least, it's time to start getting ready for NamesCon in Austin in June. That'll be June 5th to the 8th. And go to namescon.com for more details and to get registered. It's going to be a good one. We'll all be there with the Media Options team. We're excited to see everybody. With that, it's now time to get into this episode of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. What's up, Sherpa Network? Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Jonathan Tenenbaum, a.k.a. JT, a.k.a. J on, a.k.a. Sherpa Winfrey, and I'm the host and producer of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Today's show is a Domain Sherpa review where we're going to get into the minds of successful domain investors, real OGs in the space, using real examples so we can learn strategies and tactics to become more successful domain name investors ourselves. I say it on every show because we are so lucky to have these types of folks on the show. These are the experts and some of the best in the biz, including the return of a true, true OG, probably the oest of the OGs, and uh, which I guess would be the oldest of the or the most original. Uh, there are now four segments to the Domain Sherpa review. We've got the grand opening. I'll intro the Sherpas. We talk about what's going on with them, talk about some related things, some unrelated things. We've got the Domain Game, where we hear what the Sherpas recently bought or sold. Everybody will guess on the price. We'll get some swag to the winner eventually. Then we've got segment three, which is Name Jack and the Jet, sponsored by our friends at Name Jet, where we review a list of domains coming up for auction, see what the Sherpas like, what they don't like. Then we'll get into grand close where we discuss anything we haven't covered already, what's going on in the domain space, looking at the market trends, current events, and allowing our guests to mention and promote anything that we've not already covered. We've also got a handful of topics that we'd like to get into today, if there is time, so we will see how we do. So I'm going to keep this part pretty short, so let's go ahead and quickly introduce the Sherpas. Over to my right, I got my boy Andrew Rosner, a.k.a. Morpheus, a.k.a. the Dirk Diggler of Digital Assets, a.k.a. Bob Lee Swagger, the Sniper, Drew, Drew got what I need, all that good stuff. Andrew, how you doing, man? What's happening? Uh, I am good. I'm very good. Uh, you know, market seems to be picking up. We got some uh, great deals in the pipeline, some great deals that came out the other side of the pipeline last week and uh, feeling good. I'm also sort of just back in the saddle and refocused after, uh, after uh, uh, a lot of trotting. traveling. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, feeling good. Let's get it. All right. Continuing to keep it moving down to my lower right. We got my boy, Mark Kuba, a.k.a. King Kuba, a.k.a. Danny Ocean, a.k.a. The Even Greater Gatsby. Don't chase an unworthy dream, y'all, a.k.a. Kuba Libre, a.k.a. Kuba Soze, live from Las Vegas. What's happening, man? What's going on? It's been a little while. 
I know, man. We missed you. Well, you were uh, here by special request. Not going with Tiger. Yeah, yes. I, I thought. So, uh, I thought I was not uh, persona non grata on Sherpa all of a sudden. Oh, come on, well, man. You, man, man. You would never be persona non grata. You're, you're, <laughs> right. you're, you're fam. Oh, we, you know, you. we've got lots of fam, and that's the thing, right? At least your so, wife is. You know, week to week. <laughs> oh, shout out to Josephine. You know what I'm saying? Like the better half truly the is the better half. Um, all right. Well, hey, let's keep that moving. But you better are here by thirds. special even extra special request of the super special guest who I refer to as the originalist gangster, the one and only below me, my boy, Michael Seiger, AKA the professor, as they say in money heist, El Professor, not La Professor, which I found out is the feminine version of the in Spanish. So change well, that up a little La bit. La Professor Ra. Well, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. But anyway, a.k.a. <laughs> Mike Check 1212, a.k.a. Siger Space, a.k.a. I the Siger. In this case, a.k.a. Zapruder, a.k.a. Michael Blurry, a.k.a. Blurry no. Face. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, you know, ever since he is semi-retired, he has gone to the uh, the lower level internet plan. And uh, right. so, which is all good. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm, I'm retired. I'm on a fixed income. That's not fixed cool of income. you to make fun of me downgrading my internet speed. <laughs> hey, man, look, we all do what we can. It's the little things, but we appreciate you coming back on the show. You know, I hound you all the time, and I know you're kind of enjoying your life of leisure as the uh, the governor of Bainbridge Island, and uh, it's, uh, you know, but we appreciate you being on here, man. So how are you doing? Well, What's going on? Be back. I, I may not be the most successful domain investor. I may not be the best looking person on this panel, but I definitely have the most hair out of anybody <laughs> yes. in the visible plane that we are viewing. So if you're not watching the show, come back and watch because have you I'm ever seen so a Mars weird. back? <laughs> oh, I know. That's why I said invisible. Cause you've got your shirt open, like two or three buttons there, Drew. And you are rivaling me with all the hair that I have on my head. Um, but yeah, Listen, I, I I'll shut this whole conversation down and, by opening up one more button. Dude, I'll, I'll go toe to toe with you. Mine's just all gray on the chest. Um, <laughs> Great yeah, chest. And this time I'm growing it back out because I'm lazy and I'm going Wolfman as well. So I'll shave my neck. But like this stuff right here, like it's going natural. Yeah, I like that's it, how I, I, I actually just cut this two days ago. But I was looking not quite as long as you, but I was pretty fuzzy. I hadn't I hadn't shaved in about six weeks, uh, probably six weeks. I was pretty fuzzy. Yeah, I bet. Dude, you probably had like a big, thick one. I want one of those biker ones. It was, it was like, it was like Velcro, like Velcro. It was like, you know what I mean? It was like really, it was pretty gnarly. (laughs) And then it's the salt pepper thing. And I just, yeah, I wasn't feeling it anymore. I know the salt pepper sucks. All right. I'm done in my office. So I'm going to head back up there and hopefully my internet's going to improve. So you guys get to watch my, my, oh, did you say hi to Blue? Okay. I like this. This, I feel like it's like, Blue, you back there? Oh, there's Blue. Is there a movie with a dog named Blue? Oh, what's yeah. that, Blue? There's a movie with a dog named Blue, right? Oh, I don't cool. know, but have you, if you watch movies with kids and you've ever seen, like, the dog uh, in the movie and, you know, the dogs, like, sometimes die, you got to go to the website doesthedogdie.com, which will, like, make sure that you're not picking a movie that your kids are going to hate you for. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. yeah, there's. I've got. Do, I don't know. I, I, think I, mean, I hate to do a spoiler alert, but I feel like a movie that's been out for 20 years is probably not one that's going to get spoiled. But talking about a movie that impacted me emotionally in that same lane is I Am Legend. You know what I'm saying? Did y'all ever see that one? I have. Uh, that's a Will Smith. Will Smith. Will Smith zombie movie. Yeah. yeah. If you haven't seen it, I don't it, think I ever saw it. Oh, man. It's a great movie. And uh, it's, uh, you know, but there's. I think really, Men in Black was my last Will Smith movie. Hey, that's also it's also a classic. Did Mike leave the dog in the car? I think yeah, the, the dog, dog goes, car. goes in the car when he wants to, I'm assuming. No, we've got some people coming to do some stuff around the house today. So I put the dog in the car so she doesn't get all crazy. Sometimes oh, okay. she's a rescue. So, you know, she's pretty good with people, but sometimes she's just a little crazy. Yeah, no, our dogs are super jumpy. You know, we unfortunately here in Florida, you can't really leave them in the in the garage, even you know, or, or definitely not outside in the car. Where you guys are, it's like the weather is just always you know pretty pretty chill, so it gives you the ability to do that. Oh, okay, tell me, dog say, to work look, day, I I'm guess. a rescue. I go get... I'm a rescue, and I'm there the best go, baby. dog ever. 
Oh man, am I about to bring my dogs in the room? I mean, what are we doing here? (laughs) Bring your dog to work day. Bring your dog to Sherpa Day. That's the uh, yeah. So it's gonna have to wait for a couple of years for me. (laughs) Look at that little dog. (laughs) I'm like not that little though. She she's about forty pounds. Yeah, it's a little heifer. Uh Oh, there goes JC. It's a Podengo. Podengo is actually the oldest breed of dog in Europe uh rabbit hunting dog and then it's probably a mix with it well, she's a rescue but it's a mix of like probably a little jack russell yeah she looks like a jr yeah. does she jump oh yeah she's got oh, jr yeah. in her yeah uh but with the way she runs is super interesting i've never seen another dog that runs like that runs like a rabbit like huh. very yeah very interesting tiger dude uh, i think you've upgraded your podcast uh situation because it looks you're like clear the yeah what did you you, you're not screwing around dude i'm telling you i i may have cut the bandwidth to save a few bucks but i got the setup going oh wow look at that dog nice oh my god look at that doodle thing he's the new puppy that's cute wow that That thing's gonna be big huh yeah, well, she's probably six months. No, no, she actually we got her right after we moved into the new house. So she's about nine months old. Uh, probably a year old. We got her a few months of of. She's already a few months old, and we've had her for about yeah. nine months. So, so she's a something doodle. Yes, she's a golden doodle. That's our golden doodle. That's our. She's our third golden doodle. One who's passed away, and then we've got the her older sister, and then her, and uh, that's how we roll. You know, that's what we do. Now I got to shut my door. This <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, let's get it. All right, let's get into the domain game. Because Siger basically said, look, I'm not coming back on the show until I've got a, a buy or a sell that I'm actually willing to talk about. It's so. been that long. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I've actually got a 4% been dry. sell-through rate on my portfolio. All right. Hey, but that's pretty common. Which is that's not exa- screwing around. But that means that I sell like two a year, and that's it. <clears throat> yeah. Hey. Those are two great days a year. By the way, you went from like zero k to like five k with your right. setup. I mean, now I'm like, yeah, I gotta you get make a new fun camera. of me. I'll upgrade, man. Do your lighting. I mean, all of it. So, man. are I'm you using like... an SLR camera? I am. I've got an SLR yeah. camera. I've got a boom mic. I've got uh, the SLR blurs a little bit of the background. Yeah. Um, but the lighting is a little, really good. you know, thinking yeah, about saying, what I want like in the his... background to begin with. The books make me look smart, like I've read all of them. I'm ready there's to believe my... everything you tell us, you know what I'm saying? There's my <laughs> wife, I think, right there. Yeah, <laughs> wife and daughter. So, yeah, you know, it's like I'm a real adult living in a real world place here. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Good stuff. <laughs> all right, well, let's get busy with the domain game. If you uh, are willing to go first, I mean, normally we go kind of in an order, but I feel like with you sure. as the extra special guest, um, the, uh, and uh, I think it'd be great mm-hmm. if you were willing to lead off. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here's the domain. You guys ready with your phones to type in the price? Yes, sir. I'm going to type let's in the go. price too. So the uh, domain is chainfest.com. C H a i n f e s t chainfest.com chainfest.com a sale sale it was a sale <clears throat> mar hasn't been on uh, twitter recently i've been hyping this episode yeah 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 no hey and i love you've been it, so busy way. doing amar uh, I, I think you know you brought it this time and i appreciate it man it's all right uh, everybody's all ready right. i'm ready let's flip Boom. All right, all right Drew, JT. All right, we've got a pretty good spread. Drew is at 7,495. I'm at 14,999. And Amar is at 24,900. So, Dude, I appreciate all of the uh, goodwill that you guys think um, I sold the domain for. <laughs> oh, that means I lost. <laughs> <laughs> but the closest to the pin was our own boy... Drew Rosner. Uh, this is uh, oh, $904. Seven thousand nine hundred $7,999. I right. think you could have gotten more for that one. I like that one. You know, uh, yeah, I like that one too. I increased all of my prices last year, probably about the third quarter because you know, everybody that I was talking to is like, oh, I'm increasing my prices. I'm getting more for my base, you know, domains. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just bump it up. Um, 
And uh, and then like fourth quarter was dead for me. Yeah. First quarter started picking up with action. But I swear after Nick, God, I just, you know, I love after Nick when it works. Like yeah. you get the email, congrats, you sold the domain name. The next day, the domain transfers. The next business day, you get your money if it's on Fast Transfer Network. So um, it's yeah. uh, a beautiful thing. It's a good it's name. A, you, I, you, you know, it's... more and more, I tend to agree with you with after Nick. Um, and I've had a lot of positive things to say. And I, I, you know, obviously there's a lot of kinks that need to be worked out and there's a lot of things there, but for the most part, I think, you know, it, 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 the trajectory is positive and when it works, it works well. Yeah. It doesn't always work, but when it does, it works well. (laughs) But my everlasting complaint or concern with Afternick as a customer is I don't know who they represent. And I think that's a problem. When I add my name domain proactively to Afternick, uh, I feel like I am their customer. And they should represent me as a seller and my interests. And then when somebody lands on my domain and makes an inquiry or makes an offer or makes whatever, I want the advantage of having that data. Meaning... I want to know, is this, you know, who, who is this? Where do they come from? What's the IP? I, I, as much data as they can get, you know, gather, and I'm sure they're gathering a lot. I think that we should be entitled as the customer for whom they should represent. We should be entitled to more of that data. And, um, you know, my feeling that I get having done a very large amount of transactions through after Nick, um, both as a buyer and a seller is that they represent the interests of the buyer in all cases, um, no matter what. And that is the only, you know, it, it's really one of the last things that sort of keeps me a little bit, let's say arm's length or, or so it from saying, you know, I, all in, okay, you know what? It's a all the names. Buy small, the take them all. Yeah, yeah, take them yeah. all. Right. Yeah. Um, I, could I don't know. You know, the right platform for the you know a high end domain name because high end domain names are sold because of the name. People aren't coming in for a curated search. They're not coming in yeah. for a filtered search. They're coming in because of that name, and therefore you want it pointed to either yourself or to somebody that you believe can better negotiate. But for the names in that five hundred to Twenty five, fifty thousand dollar range. I think Afternick is clearly the best option in the market today. But I think one of the rare areas that would really put them over the top is if they empowered their customer and identified who their customer was. Am I representing the buyer or am I representing the seller? But this ambiguous middle is not cool for me. I agree. I, I couldn't agree more, hundred percent. And I've had this conversation with everybody there. Yeah, and it's very, very frustrating. Because I literally, I get you emails where I ask them, I'm like, so are you representing the buyer on this one? Or are you representing me? Like yeah. I asked that exact question and, and they're you like, know, yes. they, just, they don't have, they don't have a good answer. It's not yeah. clear. Yeah. They, That's why they, they just, here's yeah. the thing. Here's, here's like, the, here's one? the way it yep. would be fine for me. If somebody comes in, finds it through the after Nick network at some registrar, clicks the buy it now button and transacts it. I'm happy to pay my 15%. If somebody comes to them, calls them on the phone, asks them to help negotiate, the buyer should pay the commission and 100%. I should pay anything. That's what I said. That's what I've told them. Yeah. Oh, that's right. the way it should be. That is 100% clear. Either they're providing a service yes. for us or they're providing a service for somebody else. But they can't 100%. like double end it that way, in my opinion. I agree. That's excellent, I agree completely. And, and with a slight nuance to that, to a further nuance to that, which is that... Um, when they're representing a buyer that called them and spoke to them, they don't necessarily differentiate that to me as the customer who's listed proactively a name with them. They don't differentiate. This is a, you know, brokerage lead versus a marketplace lead. Okay. And I think that's also an important distinction for the reasons you mentioned. They should, when contacting you, they should say, I am representing a buyer. Who contacted yes. us through Afternick or through GoDaddy? Yeah, yeah. I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Yep. So, um, but so otherwise, so let me ask uh, Amar and JT, you both thought that the domain was worth more. Can you, you know, it's, I, this is one that I debated. I think I originally had it. Oh, so let me tell you, I bought it for yep. 250 was- bucks off a GoDaddy auction four years ago. Wow. Nice. Awesome. Uh, so it was an auction, but nobody really loved it. I, you know, having a media background, I like conference space. I, I like domain na- uh, domain names that are in the conference space, but I also realize there's not a ton of conferences starting up. They, the conferences that are starting up don't have a lot of money to buy domain names. They'd rather put it into the event them, uh, itself and they can go off of, you know, we've seen conferences go off of any domain name. Um, yeah. And so it's it's a uh it's a tough balance because it is a really good domain it's not blockchain it's chain chain fast right, yeah. two syllables nice brandable um yeah. uh you know shortening of fest for festival could be a conference um and i thought 8000 was a a good price 10000 might scare people off i don't know but tell me amar and jt why do you think it was worth more amar go ahead uh, I was going to say my initial inclination was actually 10 K mm. and then, um, and then I said to myself though, I, I would just, it ha- it, I just really like that name and it's very brandable like that mm-hmm. could, I could see that being like the premier conference for crypto, right? Like it's just, yeah. it sounds really, really good, uh, with the markets crypto. The other thing that came into my mind is the markets have gone way up in the last, yeah. you know, six months, let's say. Uh, so there's that, I just, for those reasons, but 10 K was my initial inclination. Um, for me, I would have priced it at 25 and that, but that's what I would have priced it at with a bin and then let them negotiate from there. I know, but it's always the tough, the tough decision about, well, are they going to walk away or are they going to know that they can negotiate? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred yeah, well, percent. It's mean, also what are know. some viable alternatives, right? And there probably are some that are out there. I agree with Amar. I think from a crypto conference standpoint, this is a fantastic name. You know, domains are hot right now. Crypto, you know, obviously a little bit of a cooling off at the moment, but you know, you sold this name obviously at some point prior. So, you know, thinking that, you know, it was during somewhat of this, you know, this crypto bull market that we're, you know, in the in the middle of, hopefully, or at least uh, you know, not over, but um and uh and you don't sell a lot of names, right? So I also sound like lettuce hands to me. So <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, I'm I'm holding it, man. Don't you know? No question. Even my meme coins, you know. Yeah. But um, the uh, but I think that also I look at it like, and this is probably you know, I, I agree with Mar. I thought it was a 10k name, but I thought you don't sell a lot of names, so you know, kind of trying to figure out all right from a seller standpoint, yeah. you know, and uh, and that's where I inflated. What'd you say? Paper handed it. Oh yeah, you paper handed. No, but not even that. Just the fact that you don't sell a lot of names. I thought, all right, well, you know, let's put a little bit of a premium on that, and uh, so that's where. I'm yeah, at. the the ones you know, for the majority of the domains that I do have, um, almost entirely, they're all priced, and they're I think they're all priced fairly, except for a few of them that I think I could potentially moonshot. It, you know, let's say it's a ten thousand dollar value domain name, fair market value. I might set it at 25,000 as a moonshot because you never know if somebody's just going to come in and click the buy it now, but not on all my domains. I thought it was a, I thought it was a fair price. Yeah. You gotta sell uh, it's, to dude, a year it's, at least, it's, you know? it's, it's a good price. Let's be, it, it's definitely a good price. It's fair. I'm just yeah. saying, I think, you know, we, yeah. we all can say that though. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, uh, at risk of stating the obvious, I think it was the perfect price. And I think it was perfect price, you know, because it sold at that price. Because you he, got the, sold the perfect price because he guessed I, that price. <laughs> well, I mean, and let's not sleep on a 30X, right? Is, I it's mean, like, you know, look, I didn't give this a considerable amount of thought. I didn't go use any tools and look up anything. But but, but, the, but the reality yeah. is I look at it and I go, okay, you know what? There's already a lot of crypto conferences. They are all very comfortable using an XYZ or a .co or a yeah. dot you know, really dot whatever. Dot dot whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I, there's a, I would say there's a pretty low bar, you know, where it's like, okay, I can, I, this is, you know, 7,500, eight grand. I can get the dot IO for 1500 bucks. I can get the, you know, I'm making this up, but yeah, I can get yeah. the dot org for, you know, 2,500 bucks. Um, I don't, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I think under 10 grand, you're probably on the same playing field. Would they have paid 
ninety five hundred instead of eight grand, almost definitely. But I don't think that there's a lot more room beyond that. I think you that I think point. that like Plan said, B gets really. I think yeah, Plan B gets very attractive at much margin above what you sold it for. Yeah, yeah. so n- nice work. Good but job. Actually, but- hey guys, this is funny, but uh, I. Uh, I, I don't know if it would be wrong for me to register it. Chainfest.org, which I think is the second best option, is unregistered. <laughs> and available. So I think it's a perfect thing for 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 I yeah, I don't see any conflict to do it, but they, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna register it. Who's your but buyer? That but that is it's, uh, I bet you it'll be registered the day this gets uh, of course it will oh, oh of course ten yeah. percent but to Drew's point like who's your buyer if it's not gonna be a DAO or some sort of like not for profit organization that this chain fest wants to start it's worthless yeah uh maybe but I I I, I think it's I think it's definitely worth a, a ten dollar registration L- let me rephrase that it's worthless from an investment perspective when you have other opportunities that can produce a higher return, it's not worthless to the buyer who will probably pay a few hundred dollars at de- defensive registration later on down the road. I, if, if I were going to buy it, I'd buy it and price it at a thousand bucks, right? Yeah. That's, that's a yeah, quick yeah. 900, $980. I, 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 will I will split the, I will split the $10 I think if it's registration. $250, tomorrow, let's do it together. I think if you stuff. follow up one month after they purchased the .com, and you say there's a here, you know, for two hundred fifty bucks you can have the dot org, maybe five hundred bucks max, thousand bucks. I don't, I don't. Why? Why? Why do they? You, I don't Tomorrow, think they, do they, they're me gonna, and you returning ten dollars yeah. into a thousand. I don't. We don't even need to discuss this anymore. It's a wrap. Good All deal. right, let's see. Test it. Nice Test it. I think it's yeah, interesting. Do it. Example. Test let's it. go, please. Do you want me to grab it through my account? Or yes, you got JT. It? Buy one. So we I mean, can talk about a buy anybody. for you. Cyber did the deal through after, and it's not like he had some relationship with them. Right. Register the dot org. You two go sell it. I want to hear what. Yeah, I want to hear who is right. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Right. So let's move on to the next one. But wait, Amar, are you doing it or am I? You go ahead. All right. All right. Well, let's go. Let's. We'll keep I... continuing in this order, or like in the in the or in the opposite order. So Amar, you're up with a buy or a sell. Yeah. So this will be interesting. I want to hear what you guys think about this one. So uh, this is Creator Full, C R E A T O R. F U L dot com. Was it a buy or a That's sell? That's a good one. It's a sell. So it's one. Okay. It's one of the well, it's very similar to Chainfest, <laughs> where you've got like this sort of appended <laughs> partial word to a real word. At Chainfest, I know exactly what it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't even remember what the domain is. What what, what is it? Creatorful. Creator? I like creatorful. It's like Creator. create and wonderful. Wait a second. Okay. Do you spell it C R E A T what? C R E A T O R F U L. Listen, just worst domain that's ever been talked about on Domain Sherpa. All right, there you go. go. Not the worst. Did you see like all the stuff being posted to my Twitter thread? Uh, that that is not the worst. Okay, creator full. All right, creator full. Oh, oh I'm not ready. Number. But this is yeah. this is cool for two reasons, which we'll talk about in a sec. Okay, I'm ready. All right. I'm going to be it? super generous here. You sold just, it. I, you know, just cause, but Drew's going to be generous with $99. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Whenever y'all are ready, let's flip. All right, here we go. Are y'all oh, super oh, generous? Drew, you're very generous. Oh, wow. You like, oh, flip- oh, oh cider. heck yeah. Wow. All right, so hold on. Floor. This happened very quickly. I had twenty four ninety nine. Sager had four thousand nine hundred ninety five, and Drew had like fifteen thousand. I think fourteen thousand. I appreciate. I appreciate the generosity. Too. And then Amar hit it with forty nine hundred bucks. Boom. Yeah. I, listen, I put fourteen eight ninety five because if I'm in Amar's shoes, the only reason I'm bringing that name up is because I I knocked it out of the park. Well, you, you can't think it's a shit name, so a, five grand is like knocking it. it out of the park. I agree. I agree. That's a great sale. <laughs> Uh, that awesome was a sale. perfect price, in my opinion. You know, the, the, <laughs> I'm spending more and more time in the uh, startup space, um, and people are choosing domain names. And I think that it's a um, a whimsical, brandable domain name at the perfect price. Anyways, you talk first. How did how did you sell it, Amar? Uh, it was uh, on Dan, and it was 
uh, I, the reason I was going to say it was pretty cool. I just crossed a hundred domain sales on Dan and well over wow. seven figures, which is cool. And nice. I, I want to give a big shout out to Dan. Like truly they, um, it changed the industry. I feel like they did, they did, uh, yeah. a lot of good and hopefully, you know, GoDaddy continues that, but <laughs> We will see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty, it's, that one was my 101st sale, but I just recently crossed a hundred, uh, which, which is pretty cool. So when'd you pick it up? How long have you owned it? Actually, it's only been a few months. So I picked wow. it up in January. I think. Oh, wow. And, That's how good you are. Yeah. And what'd you pay for <laughs> when you bought it? Uh, well, Drew's going to think I'm a bigger idiot. I paid, uh, $3,000. <laughs> I paid 6000 three- 360 bucks. Oh, okay. Well, still, you know, you 10 over 10 X did 12. 360 bucks. You paid 360 for it. For- People oh, like creator fold I- more than they liked chain fest. Oh, what auction. do you mean? Well, well like he's saying his for 360. Oh, oh, he bought yeah, it for 360. No, I, I, I paid 250 for mine. Survey, best poll you could do is. is a- no, no, no. But, but Sigrid, you bought to- yours four years ago. I did. And- it was okay. pandemic. It was yeah, but there was a lot more money in the market back then. Yeah, People had more, but, but checks. auction prices have gotten stupid. But they, they fell down a little bit recently as well. 2021, 2022. 2022 was really like when they really hit peak stupidity, but they've kind of been there. They I don't think they they haven't really continued to escalate much more beyond where they got to in 2022. And they basically just remained at those levels. Well, you know, certain I, categories have fallen off a little bit, I would say, in the last quarter or two, but mostly names have just sort of, I, you know, yeah. So normally, I, I, I don't know that I would have paid that much for Creatorful. I was just, you know, sometimes you're just in the auction and you're like, I've got the phone and you're like, oh, fuck it. And you're bored. <laughs> and you're bored, exactly. And you just need but to feel I, something. I, I do think it's a brandable name. I think it's, I don't know who bought it. I'm guessing some kind of agency. I think it's, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll do well for them. Um, and you know, so I don't think it's a shit name as much as you do, Drew. You know, I don't listen, think I, 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 I don't want to sort of interrupt the domain game. And, and, and so I'll do mine first, but we should come back to this because, you know, I have this, uh, uh I had this, theory that I'm thinking through about sort of extrapolating from, from Google's recent change they made in March, which has had widespread implications and I think has big implications for domain names, both positive and negative. But I, I, I think that if you extrapolate out what it could mean, whether or not people realize this and in what time frame they realize it, I don't know. But I think that it could uh, bring forward uh, a lot of domain sales. And, and that has implications for some of these smaller domain brandables let's call them starter brands that i that, uh, you know um but i we should come back to that jt okay um should i do mine I, I think it was a great i think it's a great domain name i think the whole creator community is a thing people identify themselves as creators not just programmers not just makers but like creators of all uh types and i think full is a great um you know, suffix, uh, to append to it. Like if I, I F Y or whatever. Um, yeah. so I, I like the domain. Yeah. yeah. I sale. definitely don't. I, I think it was a fair, fair price. And, yeah. um, and I, I think it, I think it's a, it's a good name. I don't think it's a, an amazing name, but I think it's I a know. good name. It's a good name. It's a strong, it's a, and it's I think a strong it's a brandable name. I actually, I, I like that term drew a good starter, starter brand. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Well, all right. Well, right now we got a uh, Drew's got a point. Siger's got a point, and Drew's going to drop a name on us to see. Uh, all right, we want we want to buy or a sell. Um, always a sell. You know, I mean, the sell gives yeah, you the full sell it because then you get the full history. You get the buy through the sell. Yeah. If it's the buy, then I'm just jealous because you got to steal on something. Yeah. And that's all right. Just uh, I got a few I could choose from here. Um, let's go with Oh my god. 
JT, you need to send out the email like five days before the show. No, no, no. I have. I, this is the domain game. He should know he needs a name. You know what I'm saying? Like, for years. I actually made a little sticky note here. He knows here he needs a name. Covering it, it so that you can't I mean, see it. Come on. But I made a little sticky note, and I, I, I have five domains on this sticky note that I could discuss. Okay? Two of them are a buy. Three of them are a sell. Uh-huh. One of them, I can't disclose the price, but it's the, 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 the big domain sale, uh, pepe.com. Big wow. Sale. Um, but you tell him, tell, tell him, tell uh, him about a sale you can't tell him about, Miller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, well, I, you know, I just, I, it was a shout out, Andrew Miller. Talk about that, that Miller. Talk about, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 15.5 million prices oh, for out. Chat.com. I mean, yeah. Hey. I, all I'm going to say cool is hats kind of off. Congratulations. A May sale. It wasn't the biggest sale last year. We beat it with one of ours. <laughs> facts. 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 You know what I'm saying? Hashtag facts. Facts. Hashtag facts. Like as in anyways, a fact. It, great sale. I actually thought that it was more, but great sale uh, for but second it was an place. amazing nice sale. Job. No question about it. Great sale. Yeah, shout great out to the industry. guy who's not as good as us. Great for everybody. <laughs> uh, you know, all around. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Um, all right. All right. Tell us the domain. All right. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go come with on, Vanna net. White. What are you all doing, right. man? Like, come on. Li.net. Li.net. Oh, no. Do you know this I, one? It was because it, it, it didn't no, get No, I don't know, but I don't deal in like two letter, three letters, and I definitely don't know what's going on with .nets. So well, here it wasn't was my a wholesale actually... transaction, so it doesn't. The liquidity levels on these don't matter. Yeah, this wasn't a wholesale transaction. All right, so you sold it. Li dot net. Li dot net sale. Yes, and this is actually okay. just this is Zamar and and Siger only on this one. So, oh, so this is an opportunity, Mike. You can pull a win out right now. I know. Zamar is going to snatch it from. And then we're going. Then we got to go into overtime. You know. So. Well, then I'll do the other one that I was going to do. <laughs> well, technically, I should, pro- I, you know, I could do, I could drop it. I just bought it. You name. got a I price down, Mark? I could put chainfest.org yeah. up and see if you guys can guess on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, what guess is price you don't know what registrar I use, so it's literally, like, going to come down to, like, the pennies to figure out who wins. That's That actually might be what we do. But go ahead. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Am I ready? ready? Yeah. Wow. All right. You want it by, you want me to hold it up? Ooh, Ooh. Okay. All right. Siger's at eight eighty eight 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 eight, and Namara's at one twenty four nine hundred. So let's see what the answer is. Drew's Order about magnitude, to flip Those it. are pretty close. Now let's see what the answer is. Ooh, 49. Oh, Siger gets the win. Siger takes the domain game. <laughs> the OG, the founder, has returned. Uh, nothing you know particularly uh, uh, specific to talk about. Uh, it's a name we've held for. Some time, I think we paid a grand for it. We're set. I think we paid seven grand for it. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, it's an it's opportunistic sale. We, we, you know, we. I got them up. Um, you know, they came in very low. Uh, I don't remember what the first offer was, but it was very low. Like it was uh, hundreds of dollars, right? And then, oh, um, I think they went very quickly to like fifteen, and then twenty five, and then I got them to like. I think they were at 39 and then they kept repeating that, you know, I was, my price started where Amar was. I, my, my price, basically all the two that are not nets. I start them usually at 150, 149. Yeah. And, um, mm. uh, basically I went down to $99,000. They went to 49. They said, this is it best and final take it or leave it. And, uh, after a short deliberation, I took it. Yeah, uh, dude. So we, we, I have a few two letter dot nets. You and I have one or two together, and they don't get any action. Right. right. So I haven't sold one in a while. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, uh, took it. I mean, I, they, they, there's took value it. there, obviously, but I just mm-hmm. like, like I said, I have a few, and I think you, Drew, you and I have a couple together, and we, I, I don't think they get any action. Yep. Yeah, I, I figured you priced it around there, but it was either going to be somebody that owns the dot com that wants the dot net for a defensive, or it's somebody with a last name Lee. It's a, L-I, that's a very common and last name. They wanted the dot net because there's no way they'll get the dot com. So I figure that's funny. Chinese, I didn't even, didn't even maybe they go to eighty eight 
eight thousand, eighty eight thousand. You know, yeah, it didn't even occur to me that it would be a, 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 that as a last name. But you're right; it's a very common last name. Um, let's see, did they do anything with it? No, it's not. I, all I could think about is Long Island. That's all. That's all I could nah. get Long Island out of my mind. Like I thought, oh, it was, you know, maybe it's like an ISP in Long Island or something. I don't know. Yeah, um, I was look, originally thinking I, fifty thousand on it um, because, like, really good single word dot nets are go you know good let's not say really good but like good single word dot nets retail are going for like what 30 35 20, I, 25 25 to 50 is exactly what i was going to say yeah yeah so uh i i would consider this to be similar because it's so short somebody's last name initials yep i i will say that I, I, I just right. i am generally speaking quite bullish long term on short domains yeah and i'm even on that on that bull case i'm actually relatively this is probably the only place that i'm relatively agnostic of a domain extension i think that there will be obviously a tiered system and the dot coms will be worth more and that's in the dot ors less it works way down but generally speaking i am bullish on short domains in any tld uh virtually within reason tld because I just think that we're going to be identifying so many people, places, and things through a domain name, and ultimately, there is some portion of that where memorability at least has, even if it's a small portion of the utility or the value, memorability will have will be a component of the uh, utility and therefore perceived value, and that is going to drive a persistent demand for short domains long-term, I believe. And so as it's the most constrained namespace there is, is is one and two character uh, uh, domains across any TLD. And therefore, I think that there will be um, uh, an an interesting, you know, sort of supply-demand relationship going forward long-term on those names. Now, does that mean that li.net is going to be worth $500,000 someday? No. And that's why I took it. My thinking as it is right now uh, is quite mechanic. And it's, it's you know, do I believe that I can sell, if I get an offer that's, let's say, in or around the strike zone, and it's not one of our, let's say, top 100 names, immediately, or let's say even the top 200, I, I basically, it's, do I believe I can sell this domain name for at least double in the next 12 to 24 months. And I say 12 to 24 months because, you know, it depends on the name. You know, if there's a name that's getting inquiries, I might give myself a little more time. If it's a number of the name that's not getting inquiries, it's, you know, in the next 12 months, can I sell this name for double? And if not, and when I say double, not double what the offer is that I got. If the answer is no, I'm selling it. Selling it. What if, you know, there may, uh, maybe there's room for negotiation a little bit more, maybe, blah, 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 but I've made the decision in my mind. I'm selling it. This is my buyer. I'm going to get the best deal I can, but this I'm selling this now. And the reason for that is, you know, I think we're in a unique period of time, whether or not you invest into Bitcoin, we're in the, uh, an up cycle in Bitcoin, whether you are investing in the stock market, I think that, you know, we're at a strange impetus um, you know, across markets, across assets, uh, across commodities, particularly energy, I, we're at a really important impetus whereby I don't think, you know, and I've said this before, you cannot make decisions in a vacuum anymore. And so every purchase held decision about a domain, I'm putting that up against what else, and you referred to this earlier, uh, Michael, what else can I do with that capital? Whether it's a buy or a sell. And I think there are very interesting places to things to do with your capital at this moment, okay? Depending on where your interest and, and risk tolerance is, there's a wide spectrum of things to do with that capital, right? Capital itself is becoming scarce and uh, interest rates are likely going up or staying up. And I think that uh, it's going to force, it's going to create a force function to make better decisions with capital allocation. So yeah, um, and, and real quick, 49 and- grand, so turn it into Bitcoin. 
Yeah. yeah well, and totally. I think that becomes a, almost me. like a personal mm-hmm. decision based on where you are in your portfolio, right? You've got a lot of names. You'd like to turn some of that cash into potentially Bitcoin, right? So then it's a matter of like, okay, this is how I'm looking at it. And, you know, obviously we talk about this all the time. Um, and, uh, you know, but I don't think, uh, is impetus the word you were trying to, that, that you were looking to use there? <laughs> Because impetus well, isn't that JT, like the, the, do not the bite the hand that feeds you, JT. <laughs> the motivation but is, isn't impetus the, the, the it's like a trigger, right? It's a yeah, yeah, yeah it is it's moving force, motivation. impulse, you know that kind of thing. But I thought yeah. you meant it as like a point in time, you know, like like precipice or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just I don't know. Well, I, I don't remember even the context I used it in, but I'm just giving you our I think time, I meant bro. impetus. Hey, Drew, it's all good. It's Drew, all good. I'm you, using this as our segue actually to move oh, on. Oh, you know what? I think yeah, I I think you're right. I think I meant precipitous. Drew, that's, what, see, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to do this to Drew, you in did public. Did you have it priced, or was it an uh, inquiry? Just like a, a no, a, there was no buy. There was no buy. Now we had a price on our end, but we didn't have a pub. We didn't have a, a bid price on it. Why wouldn't you bid price it at one twenty at one fifty? I should blame my COO, man. I, you know, I'm trying to get all our names priced for. <laughs> that's all I was looking for. No, no more. <laughs> you know exactly. Like, no, thanks. Explanation thanks, necessary. Appreciate that. <laughs> Love having you on the show. Um, but <laughs> that is true. We do. Well, we have them priced internally. We are we working. This is one more... of our primary objectives. Yeah. Although that one actually wouldn't really fit into the category. We're, we're, uh, we might get there, but really it's the names that I want a bin price of 50 grand or less. Is it, we want to get a hundred percent of those names priced with a bin, put them in the marketplace. Oh, yeah. That's it, and let it. Yeah, roll. and we've got them all priced um, internally. It's just to, it's the external pricing. We just need another run through, and it's also hard when your CEO is globe trotting and you're like, "Hey, man, can we just maybe take thirty minutes today and do this?" He's like, "Eh, talk to me in a week." You know? Yeah, when I'm back from my other, well, I hear the glass, um, the, the ice cubes in the glass just <laughs> clinking, and he's like, "I'm busy, I'm busy. Come on, man." I'm Bottom counting my Bitcoin. Um, anyway. As long as we're talking about uh, ways to improve, is this a good time to talk about DomainSherpa.com and the broken things I see on the website? Or do you want to save that for later? That is part of our later topics. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so all right, all right. we're going to dive into name checking and jet. Well, I get... mean, you can't breach the subject and then not not touch it. Sure okay. we can. I mean, if you want. No. marcy has got to go, you know, he's got to right. take a quick so, break. You want to you want, break? You want to break, oh, break them okay. all? You want us to keep going while you're gone? Just go jump. We'll be here. Uh, two minutes. All right. Okay. So, um, in our defense, right, there should, I, are... should I set the stage? Should I set the stage first? Sure, go for it. Okay. So, uh, I developed DomainSherpa.com, the WordPress powered website, back in uh, 2000. When, when did it launch? 2000. Uh, 10. 2010. 11. Um, and very little has changed. And it's look, looked, you know, better at times in the past than it currently does just because like the whole internet has improved its look and feel over time um but like when i go to the website you know things change over time and embeds from social medias don't look the same and uh on the right hand side the list of of you the know, shows, shows are, are not up yes and yeah, then yeah. down at the bottom of a show you go try to leave a comment like no comments are necessary because the um spam key isn't working anymore so like small things like that make users think that incorrectly think that maybe you don't really care about the website okay so my let me yeah. let I me like address feedback. let me address some of this so um first off we are a deal making organization we're not a technical organization okay mm-hmm. and that falls on me and um, some of that is conscious choice, and some of that is just repeatedly bad experiences trying to work with third-party developers um, and uh, uh, incurring lots of problems uh, at tremendous expense. So, um, uh, so I have a general reluctancy and hesitancy to you know pursue it. We have actually, over the course of the last year, um, engaged several companies to evaluate redoing this. It turns out that. Um, you know, the way that you built it is, is quite intricate. There's a lot (laughs) of moving parts and it is extremely expensive to rebuild this. Um, primarily not because of the, the technical part, but actually because of the content and moving, moving content, you know, adding photographs 
just images, for example, like there is a lot. There is a insane number of pages on this yeah. website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, some of the changes that have, Google has made and what they prefer in their algorithm would basically force us to do some changes to the way that the site is structured historically. And so there's a lot of consolidation to, of pages that needs to be done. Uh, there's a lot of redundancy in, let's say, keyword redundancy across many, many pages, which creates confusion with Google. And so this should be the single highest ranking website in the entire domain industry because there is no website, including GoDaddy or Sado or anybody else, that has more authority than this domain name and this um, uh, the content within it. This is basically the entire historical record of the domain name industry and it's a, it's in a very yeah. important. Um, didn't uh, uh, Jen say it's a very important thing? Didn't what? Jen yeah, say yeah. A redesign the wet well, like, yeah, yeah. in a so in a yeah, yeah. file so, or something? He, yeah, yeah. So here's the thing, Jen. Did yeah, it. but that's 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 on, that's, on, that's, on, that's on, only yeah. a part of it. I I get that. exactly. That's not the Jen hard did an part. awesome the hard job the, creating a new design for the site. It, and it, yeah. looks it looks super good. dope. Yeah, it's super. Yeah, I Dude, personally share it, it on social good. media. I bet it. like one of your uh, fans would say like, "I would love to rebuild Domain Sherpa for you guys." Well, probably what we would get is a bunch of people be like, eh, "I don't like it. This is you should do this and change the font." You know what I mean? It would turn into a, right. a bitch. All right, fest. I got. I wait, got wait, time out real quick for you because the important piece though. So when we had, so we we had the the you know the the makings of a redesign, the beginnings of a redesign, and a handful of the the key pages, you know kind of ready to go but in order to actually but but it's not just a it's a portability thing because it's so old you actually have to rebuild all the pages from scratch and yeah. you need to maintain all the same the structure the linkage all this kind of stuff as to not crater the seo value of the site yeah so that's yeah. really been the holdup. so when we got quotes on that they were pretty extreme now we've had people who you know sean markey a couple other folks that have also said hey you know let me let me help you all i mean and some of this is just us and this goes back to what drew said as far as priorities right like we take we take our you know our responsibilities with sherpa very seriously but when you look at cost yeah. and time it's also a matter yeah. of just trying to find totally. the fit. clearly you do you guys are doing you know the show this like is non-stop delivering the show that's the most important part of it we yeah. we so a couple of things we this is something I am very passionate about. As you can see, even before I owned it and you owned it, I was the most frequent guest on the show. Yeah. I believe in education as a tool to grow the pie. That is the fundamental purpose of why I bought it, the fundamental purpose of why I continue to run the show. The, the, we lose money every single month on Domain Sherpa. We do not make money. We lose money. We have a couple of sponsors whom we tremendously appreciate. Uh including Dan.com mentioned earlier by a GoDaddy and uh, Namejet. And we have tremendous appreciation for their support, but it is highly insufficient for it to actually be a business. And so this is exactly, basically a you're paying like Amar and me so much to appear that like it, you're, you're just in the, in the way. <laughs> my my, my in, McDonald's yeah. vouchers are not cheap. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's, so, yeah. um, well, so two so things. Anyway, so, so yeah. Wait, let, let the other the other component, and then I'm going to let you give the recommendations. The other component of this is that we are actually also because again, I stated my first purpose is that I literally am trying to grow the pie, right? And so in that vein, where we are less likely to grow the pie is on DomainSherpa.com, and where we are more likely to grow the pie effectively is on YouTube. And so we are actually trying to push people to the YouTube channel to increase subscriptions, get mm -hmm. some more love on the videos and also get those, so get those, those videos to start going to yeah. other people's feeds who wouldn't have otherwise mm -hmm. watched these. And it is working. Okay. Because we are getting people that are go, Oh, I stumbled on your podcast on YouTube. And they come to me and they, they're like, I really liked it. And we've had some amazing feedback through that channel. And so I, it pains me when I go on domainsherpa.com. I think the website looks like crap. I think it has enormous potential from an SEO standpoint to be very impactful, but it's just, it, it, it can't be my priority number one because I have a much bigger business to run, a very profitable one. And uh, again- Yeah, that's why you have PT. Yes. So, uh, you guys make so much money. I've heard over and over that you guys are the number one broker in the world. You can- I, That's what I heard too. It. I think it's I heard not, that earlier. It's not rocket science. 
the guy that uh, Andrew Alleman used to redesign uh, Domain Name Wire uh, yeah. does this for a living. He, okay. I don't know how many pages Andrew has, but it's more than Domain Sherpa, I'm sure. Um, I doubt that's it. That's one option. I've looked because at it you, my you, own you, stuff. You, you make the, the, you, the slang dictionary, for example, the yeah. d- domain slang dictionary, for example, that al- that alone is thousands of pages. Like there's, there's, there's a lot of sort of esoteric, um, um, that's but I think that's, you know, we'll follow up structure. on some of this stuff offline yeah. and I appreciate you bringing it up. I know that you've mentioned totally. this stuff in passing and calling us out in public will make us actually get it done sooner. So it really <laughs> I know. is all good. It I understand to be called out what you're trying to it. achieve and we're super um, down. Yeah. And if all that fails, show me Jen's design, because now that I'm semi-retired, I'm going to rebuild the whole freaking thing for you. Let's go. So let's that's go. what we're trying to get you to Here do. Here we go. go. That's what we're trying to get you. Number one is to use Andrew's guy because he's a professional. Um, but um, I'm I'm yeah. gonna cut you this mess. Don't forget. So the last thing I'll say yeah. though, because it really, and to Drew's point, right, where we're investing the time and the money that we have been applying to it, you know, getting Billy, like you know, improving the production value of the actual, you know, yeah. improving the the content of and 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 that I think we've done a really good job. And huge shout out to Billy for helping to really like you know improve up, all of that. That's been great. And uh, but I did have somebody say recently where they said, you know, it's kind of like it's so eight bit that it's kind of cool, you know? It's like, <laughs> and I said, you know, I'm going to hang my hat on that for a while. Like, it's, uh, it's, it's so it's bad, that, it's good. Uh, you get past a certain point where it, it, it goes from antiquated to cool. Well, you totally. see it with some of these crypto things and, like, you know, these interfaces on some of the staking and stuff where they use these really old school, like, you know, MS-DOS kind of, like, interfaces and stuff. And it's like... Well, I feel like it's so easy for people to just, like, launch a new website that's super good-looking, modern website now that you know it almost differentiated is like oh these guys are og you know this yeah, is well, like but i will tell you mike oh, which you know, with, just fix a couple 90s. of things that don't work like no no and to your yeah, point mike you're 100 percent. you're 100 percent right like the social the social links like they extended the line below you know the the comments have been fine i'd be happy with you guys and to then, keep the same look and feel because i love that and, og look and the past shows not populating is a real pain in the neck. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna holler at Billy. The problem with some right. of those things, and I'm not technical, so I, I I might be talking out of turn, but I think what Billy was explaining to me um, is that uh, a lot of them are based on plugins, and a lot of those plugins are no longer supported, and so you can't update them, or the latest update isn't compatible with the latest update of WordPress, and so yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of compatibility issues between the plugins and updates and yeah. uh, the version of WordPress. Yep, All right. Billy's defense. I get an invitation program. to the next media options uh, offsite. The uh, website gets an upgrade. We're, everybody's happy. Let's get All it, right. man. And uh, like, yeah, because for what nice. it's worth, and in Billy's defense, who tinkers with some of this kind of stuff, is he was told, look, like if it's choice of like if fixing something could possibly break something, then just chill out. Don't do it because That's everything, everything you know, could possibly break like, something. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, hey, look. All right. Man, Thanks for letting me uh this was vent. Productive. I like it. I like that we did it online. Or, you know, I think this actually makes it even more accountable at the end of the day. And I appreciate you, Mike, and your feedback. I, I know Jen's you care more than pretty too. much anybody. Like, Jen has so. a beautiful eye for design. I want to oh, I want to see what yeah. she did. Her design is dope. She did a really great job. Shout out to Jen, too. Media Options is the industry's leading domain broker specializing in domain acquisitions, high-value domain sales, and domain name consultation. As pioneers and thought leaders on the subject of the domain aftermarket and domain name value, plus through their clear domain acquisition service, Media Options offers startups and established corporations an unparalleled scope of high-value domain options, providing access to domain names and curation technologies not available elsewhere. Media Options believes in the power of a great domain name and is dedicated dedicated to helping you obtain yours call or email today to put a domain to work for you all right well look move on domain game now let's slide into name checking a jet we got a list of domains let's talk about what the sherpas like what they don't like you guys can go to the domain sherpa.com page for this particular episode download the excel sheet that's got some data and uh that will hopefully help y'all but let's uh but what will help you even more is hearing what the experts what the sherpas like and don't like all right let's do this one in the uh in the reverse order that we ran the domain game. So Drew, we'll let you go first. I made this a pretty big list. There weren't really big hitters. Sometimes there's some like big names that kind of anchor the whole list. In this case, we went for a little bit more by a, sort of a volume approach. But uh, Drew, what's your what are your thoughts? Um, okay, so um, I think my number one 
choice on here is the GPAI. Um, I, you know, it's, it's going to have a bunch of traffic. It's going to have a potential, a bunch of potential end users over time. And, um, it's a great four letter.com. And so, um, I think that the Delta between what you can likely grab this for, which will be significantly more than you'll pay for another four letter.com. Mm-hmm. Um, but the problem that, you know, statistically speaking, like the probability of resale is, is quite high, uh, because you're in an upgrowth market and because there will be a, an emerging, uh, a large number of emerging potential end users. And so, um, I like that bet and I, I think it's a, I think it's a great name. And I think, you know, if you can buy that for five to 7,500, 5,000 to 7,500 bucks, I think you, you know, you, you, you it's probably a 10 to 20 bagger. Um, so I like that name a lot. I like green design a lot, but, you know, unlike GPAI that has a very high ceiling or potentially, you know, no ceiling, um, greendesign.com, you know, is probably has an upper limit of, let's say, you know, 50 grand. Okay. So I think you're going to buy that for five grand, three to five grand is probably where that thing's going to end. And, you know, most likely it's a $25,000 sale. Maybe you find the buyer that pays 50, but I think that's a stretch. So I think it's a five bagger with a maybe, uh, you know, at more than that. Um, But good name, great name. It's a name I'd love to have in my portfolio. Um, I'll do one more. Uh... I, 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 uh, I'm going to go tools.net. I'm going to go tools.net. Oh. And, and just because, um, dot net, you know, as we discussed with my li.net sale earlier, like their end user sales are few and far between these days. Um, I actually have like kind of finally capitulated that I basically just don't buy dot nets anymore because, uh, and I really, that was a long capitulation cycle. I, I, you know, I'm still, <laughs> Still buy me hard to give up dot net when I saw one, but I, you know, I just there just was none leaving the other end of the portfolio. I they go they went in the pipeline and they never left. And so, um, I really have basically capitulated and stopped buying dot nets. But that being said, if there was a dot net that I would want to own, it's tools.net because in my mind, that's like a perfect fitting of the left of the dot and the right of the dot. This is, you know, Amar was an investor in domain tools, right? It's like, this is a technology play. Tools.net is a B2B technology play. It's like we've got web tools and .net is a perfect fit for that. And um, I think just the way engineers think and, and the branding that would go into their minds, this is a, a, a sexy domain for, for, the tar- for its target market. It's a sexy domain. So what, and, are you trying to, uh, what are you trying to I buy? I like it a lot. I'm trying to buy that for as cheap as humanly possible. <laughs> like, you know. Uh, are you paying 5K? Because it probably is dead capital in your portfolio for a while. Yeah. So I'm trying to buy that name for, let's say, three to five grand. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. it's It'll probably, probably going to go for more than that. But search volume is I'm, nuts. I'm, I, I want to own that for three to yeah. five grand. And I. I'm selling that, you know, I, I'm definitely not selling it for less than 50 and I'm probably asking 99,000 or 125,000 is probably what I'm putting as a bid price on that name. And I'm, you know, my strike zone is really that 75, you know. 75 to a hundred is the strike zone for me. Yeah. But again, the reason I don't want to pay more than five and even at five, I'm having second thoughts is because. I know my sales cycle on that name is long. Yeah, I mean, that's all. Fair. You can talk me into it. it. I, I want to bid on it, and I want to launch some uh, internet tools on that. I want to buy it's it. Great, and build it's, now. A, it's a great. It's a great name. It's a yeah. great name. Tools.net is a really, really good domain. Single syllable, massive search volume, massive yeah. usage. It doesn't limit yep. you in any way. Everybody yep. remembers .net. You sort of get that OG shine to you. Tools. And it's just, it's tool. It's just like, it's just a, it, 
Great and news. the singular is not better. The singular yeah. is it doesn't yeah, yeah. mean anything in the end. It's negative. So uh, tools.net is the name. There is no alternative for it. Uh, if I'm tools.com, now I'm thinking about hand tools or yeah, you know, Home Depot. I, I'm thinking about something else. But tools.net is really, yeah. really, really clear. It is it's web tools or you know, technology tools. It's it's to me, it's a really bang on brand. It's kind of like you know, the last name I talked about as a sale on the show was kyc.me. Mm-hmm. And I it doesn't mean I'm a dot me fan. Okay. Oh yeah. well, Mar you has the record for dot me sale. But um kyc.me just happens to be a perfect fit of the left and the right of the dot. And so because of that, it's an amazing domain. It doesn't say anything about .me as a domain extension. Right. It doesn't even necessarily say mm-hmm. anything about KYC yeah. as an SLD. But KYC on the left and .me on the right is it just a, it's a marriage made in heaven, and that resulted in a great domain sale. Just in the same way that Tools.net is a great marriage of the SLD and the TLD, and uh, generally speaking, that results in a good sale. I, I think Drew just now I'm have to spend my chain fest money bidding. on this. What'd you say, Amar? Drew just talked us all into bidding. I, think I know. To I'm going to have to spend my chain fest money on this now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, awesome stuff um, and great insight. All right, Amar, what about you? What do you like? What don't you like on the list? I mean, uh, the two that Drew first mentioned are the ones that I like. GPAI and Green Design, um, I like a lot. So, uh, also, so to say another one um, that I like, uh, I like energetic.org. Mm-hmm. I think that, I think that's a, that's an interesting one. Um, you know, everything. Totally. Be, sorry. hundred percent agree. Yeah. I think that one, you know, everything that could, that could be a green name. It could be wind energy. It could be solar. It could be so many different things. I think it's a great, yeah. great name crypto. for a company. I mean, I, what I love about that one too is I, it's the positive connotation. You know what I mean? Right. It's really just so uplifting <clears throat> and kind of like forward and, you know, it could be, like you said, it's tech, it's energy, it's all that kind of stuff. It's, it's. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's the other one that I think is interesting. Um, I kind of like Don Bull because I just think that could also be an open also, vessel type of name. Don for, Bull? Don Bull. Yeah. Yep. What's. Tell me, tell me a couple of ideas that you have that it could be open vessel for. for no, I'm obviously related to dogs, but it could be, <laughs> you could sell dog food on dog bowl. You could sell dog toys. You could sell, it could dog be a bowl. Like, it could be anything, you know, it's just, it's memorable. You know, I, I you know, I'm not saying it's okay. a million dollar right. name. I yeah, mean, yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, good it's a, name. It's a you know, and, and pet, pet stuff is pet supplies are a huge yeah. business, right? So, and people spend discretionary. I, 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 I agree. I, I think Dog Bowl is a great name. I think you can, you can make that into a pretty decent, you know, uh, uh, it's not pets.com, but it, it, it could be right. a decent little, you know, pet brand. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I like it. So, Sounds awesome. like Siger's got some different ones. All right. I, All right. I, yeah, let's, you know, let's, let's, I liked your creator poll. Don't forget that I loved you first, Amar. <laughs> um, but I'm not a fan of Dog Bowl. I don't know. it. Like, I own Catastic.com. Cat and Fantastic merged together, which uh, I've gotten like one or two inquiries in the past from people who are interested in it. Um, but I don't know. Something like that. Something like Creator Full strikes me as um, more open vessel uh, focus on a particular area. I don't know. Dog bowl is just so specific that, um, it, yeah, it, it's not, it strikes me as like, I, I wouldn't like it because it's so specific. I like it, but I mean, as a pet brand, it's not bad, but Hey, we can agree to disagree. Plus it's also a question of, you know, Amar, what are you buying dog bowl for in auction? I I don't think I'd pay more than probably a thousand bucks. Yeah. I I'd pay 500 bucks. And then, Mike, would you take it for five hundred? Hand register. Okay. I would only hand register no. that. No, stop it. Stop <laughs> oh, it. He's a hater. He's li- he's got it. We met his dog. I like, liked I Creatorful. Wait, so now he's, I know he's gonna be. Well, then wait a minute. All right, so keep going on. Keep going on names. The dog bowl. So what do you like? What else do you like on the list? Then what else do you like on this list? If anything, that has you know either been mentioned or not. Are we talking about Tiger? Yeah, yeah, yeah Mike. Oh, sorry. 
Uh, GPAI, number one on my list, generative pre-trained, you know, you got the GPT start and you got the AI end, exactly. but G, uh, GPAI is also general purpose AI. It's just, yep. you know, Drew said it all, all of his numbers are correct. Um, actually, I, I would have priced it lower. So I'm glad that Drew said that, but I'm not going to buy it because it's going to go too high. The two that I like that I think uh, struck me as like good brands that Lots of companies around, lots of, you know, um, uh, people who show up to work that go do services that would want these domain names were prestigeproperties.com and roofingsystems.com. They strike me as like, you know, a real estate company or a roofing company. Um, and I could see maybe, you know, tens of companies that are named this or could easily, you know, select this name. Um, because they're both positive, fixing, you know, constructive type names. Um, yeah, and I am not what really buying the end anything. User, in- what would be your end user price on those two names? Well, that's a good question. Um, I, I somehow the- totally missed Prestige Properties. I didn't even see that. No, it's a great I, name, but real estate companies don't pay shit. I know. Well, yeah, but that's that. That's like you know. That's that's like the dude selling. Name. $25 million homes in Miami on the daily. Right. And and they'll pay like, no, they that's, don't dude. I don't know, man. Prestige I don't know. Properties.com to me is, you know, I'm not going to, I would try, I would be immediately Google trying first. to take that name and pitch it to the folks at prestige worldwide, you know, because yeah. after they release boats and hoes, <laughs> I think they've got that boats and hoes money that they would absolutely be looking to, uh, and for and those they of you who don't do get security. the reference, it's from the movie step brothers, just so you know, they also Will do security. I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> Oh, I knew exactly. Prestige what worldwide. You have an opportunity. Yeah, I like prestige today. because prestige is sort of like luxury. So luxury properties. Um, and yeah, I think that's an amazing brand. If you're a luxury property, I, I think you know, prestige properties is worth more than roofing systems because if it's going to be roofing systems, it it's going to be like you know Rosner Roofing Systems or something but like that. It, and it maybe at? somebody would want to buy roofing systems, but um, what would you? you no, know, I would at? probably price prestige at. 35 or maybe uh yeah see i'd be at double that i i, I put prestige properties at seventy five thousand dollars. yeah you wouldn't get it come down and negotiate and i would just want to like i would i don't know price. if i'd sell that under 50 though really but here's I, the thing I think prestige properties is a banger and banger. i don't think it's going to sell in auction for less than ten thousand seventy five hundred to ten thousand dollars i don't know you think no, it'll go that go, high no you don't think it'll go that high no. Again, I'm I'm not like I'm not following auctions on a daily basis. So twenty five hundred to five to, grand, five grand, twenty five to five. Oh, oh we don't go for more than twenty five hundred. Prestige properties. Well, so well it might now. Prestige worldwide. I, I'm so, this is so interesting to me. Uh, well, we shall see. I made a note. Yeah. That's we'll, we'll uh, you know, that'll be one of those we'll follow up on after the. We need to create. We need to maybe there's an AI for this. We need to go back. We need to track all of the domains that have ever been discussed on the domain game, and then where are they now? And like, yeah. let's find the ones that actually ended up with an end user, and go back. You know, like th- th- there's Even actually like, serious, serious, real learning to be had there about. Like, yeah. Okay, maybe we're all completely full of it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but well. I to me, prestigeproperties.com is uh that's I mean that's a, you know it's a very good name. There's well, not that yeah. many words that indicate to me like multi, multi, multi million dollar you know home sales, right? Like like and prestige is one of the premier I don't know terms uh, to convey luxury. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, prestige properties. It's like that's really anybody. I, I, all anybody looking for that luxury market is prestige, right? That that's what they're yeah. looking for. So, this is a good you know, name. I'm going to bid more on it now. Pristine is a great word. That. Premier is a great word, but prestige is the word. Yeah. I love it. Um, all right, Mike. Any others that you like or don't like before we try to tackle maybe one of the topics? We knew we were going to run. Um, time. I like tools.net now. <laughs> oh, love it. Love that one. Yeah. No, everything else. I, um, I'm surprised with how much you guys love Creatorful that nobody thought Investar was was a good name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if we're gonna that go one, like, that, hey, like it, that one feels like it would be um, uh, trademarked and 
potentially a risk. I I didn't check anything, but I feel like that one has risk. Um, I feel like it's like how risk people of you in not of you not Alabama getting it for your portfolio. It. That's the only risk out yeah, here. Sure. Best star. We're all in best stars. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> all right. With that, that's the no end offense of the name to you anybody can... in Alabama. That's going to be the name check in the jet segment. Thanks, guys, for participating in that. Good luck, everybody. Remember, none of this is financial advice, but we'll see you in the auctions. Um, all right. So, Mike, we got a couple of topics. We're into the grand closing. We've got uh, Drew. So how much time do you have officially? I know you were going to be. I have exactly 15 minutes from now, and then I got to leave to go pick up my kids from Powell. Okay. Well, we've got a couple of topics we were going to get into. We had at least three more that Mike mentioned and, or had brought up ahead of time. And there was a few more that actually even came up in the last 24 to 48 hours. They're somewhat newsworthy, but let's, um, can I, let, let's, 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 can I segue the- this though? Can we just real quick? And, and, and uh, because this was you know, part of the thought that I had earlier, which actually ties directly into Michael's, uh, uh pyramid, uh, topic. So, okay. You know, Google in March, you know, had a major update in their algorithm, right? And it's had an enormous impact on some of the biggest sites and, you know, lots of smaller sites and, and, and really a, a lot of change. Um, and we've seen a very material impact on uh, certain segments of, of domain buyers, primarily for people that are really focused on SEO. Uh, and, you know, I'm not an SEO myself. I don't have, uh, 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 you know, any chops to really lean on, but you know, um, enough information to be dangerous, let's say, um, uh, on a podcast. So, uh, it seems to me that the idea of, Oh, I, you, you know, you used to be able to take a domain. The domain had a high authority that had a great backlink profile. And you can basically then take that and then pivot it and, and, and convey that authority to your new site. And, you know, as long as you knew what you're doing and you weren't, you know, playing any games, that was a very effective strategy. You know, basically just garnering the link authority from an expired domain or from a domain that was something else before that might have been static or underperforming, and then repurposing it into a, a, a new website or even if just redirect, um, and and garnering that that authority. That was a a, a, a massive strategy that drove a lot of domain sales, um, and uh, was quite effective. From what I'm told, that appears to be dead for the moment, at least. And um, that is no longer really working. Okay. And so that has a lot of implications. Um, one of those implications is that one of the ways that I've always conveyed to people is like, look, if you don't have the budget to get your exact brand match.com now, that's fine. Right. It's no problem to have a prefix or a suffix or, you know, one of these starter brands that I mentioned earlier. And then, you know, let's just keep our eye on the ball. And then when you guys raise your next round or you, you know, hit a certain trajectory, we can go make a run at this. I don't think that that's a valid strategy anymore. And I think that this is going to pull forward a lot of domain sales because I think that you are now introducing a very high level of risk if you start building your business on one domain name and then have to pivot later. And I think that this is going to play into the larger trend that I've been discussing for years now, which is the idea of a lease with an option to buy or a lease to own. And I think that we're going to pull forward a ton of demand once entrepreneurs, and in particular, the VCs investing in them, understand the implications of, oh, get this, try that, dot .net, dot .xyz, dot .fine. That's all well and good, except there will most likely come a time, if you survive the next five years, where suddenly you want to pivot into your exact brand match.com. And that may come with some tremendous new risk that didn't exist previously. It used to be that you could just rebrand and then forward. One of the case studies that just came out, and this is the last thing I say, is WooCommerce just announced they're rebranding from WooCommerce. And these guys are WordPress guys. These guys they are, are the they, internet. They, they, they know what the hell is going on. They know what's, what, what works. And they have they, they, they made a big to-do about rebranding to Woo.com. And they've now pivoted 180 degrees. They went back to WooCommerce. And they're just redirecting Woo.com to WooCommerce. They completely reversed their rebrand for this exact reason. They got devastated in March with the update from Google. And they said, look, not worth it. It'll take us years to rebuild that authority. 
So we're going back to WooCommerce and uh, reversing our decision. I think that's a trend. I think this is an indicator. And I think that this is going to have huge implications on domain purchase decisions. But it might take time for the entrepreneurs and the VCs that fund them to understand that implication, uh, which is why I wanted, to, you know, I wanted to bring it up today. So that leads to pyramid because you took a what I would say is a, a seven-figure domain name for sure, and you've built a business that is a game. Even if it was wildly successful, it is uh, likely to be a, uh, a poor use of a seven-figure asset, right? And I understand. You know, I'll let you tell the story of the whole thing, but the 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 point I'm trying to make is: Are you putting the value of that domain at risk by basically, let's say, let's say that you continue and it builds authority as a gaming website, right? It's a it's a game website. It's a it's a it's a casual game website. Are you now, you know, there you when I started in brokerage, there was this idea of a clean slate domain name, and a clean slate domain name had some sort of premium associated from the perspective of a lot of buyers. That concept got slaughtered and then suddenly I don't want a clean slate domain name. I actually want a domain name that's got some previous authority. And I think we may be now shifting back to, oh, I want a clean slate domain name that doesn't come with any baggage that I might not be able to undo with Google. And so is it, do, does that, do you think about that when you build out pyramid.com you can tell the story of doing that do you think that you're maybe putting some of the value of that domain at risk okay so two weeks ago spring break my 13 year old and i were at home because my wife and 16 year old were going to look at colleges i wanted to do something fun but we had the dog at home who got attacked last time we boarded her so we wanted to stay at home we decided to each build a game I decided to build a solitaire game. He built a two-dimensional arcade type, type game. Um, and I was amazed that with the help of AI, I was able to build a functioning solitaire game called Pyramid Solitaire. And because I've owned Pyramid for a number of years, thank you, Booth Brothers, for selling it to me. Um, I've got some inquiries on it, but I'm like, I am tired of us us, the domain industry, being, uh, understanding the value of the, the ultimate premium domain names and never using them for our own selves. We're always using longer domain names, branded domain names, whatever. I wanted to take the most premium asset, one of the most premium assets that I have, and have fun with it, like build something on it. Um, Worst case scenario, this thing goes up, it doesn't function, I pull it down, it goes back into my portfolio. I'm not building up a ton of links to it. It's not it's not a porn site, it's not an adult you yeah. know gambling site. It's whatever. I, there's no detriment being um you know layered on top of this domain name. Most of the links that are coming in to this to the 29th oldest dot com in existence, pyramid.com, are from the previous owner. From is that number that is computer, that number 29? 29. That was a computer Ooh, wow. manufacturer. And so it links to computers yeah. and computer sales and supercomputers and things like that. Um awesome. And it has some some traffic. So, you know, the downside is minuscule, in my opinion. The upside is like, do you know how many people? play solitaire every day in the world it's like yeah. hundreds of millions of people and so i know because i sold knows about solitaire here, many 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 moons ago i sold solitaire.org for a lot of money oh I don't yeah know, i won't say the price i don't remember exactly but it, it was a lot of money and i believe you because people love their solitaire games and if i can figure out how to make pyramid solitaire just a fraction as popular as um you know regular solitaire it will pay a dividend that will last for my life, my kids' lives. It's never going away. People love solitaire. So yeah. in one week, I put together this site and people started playing it. And a lot of people started liking it. Like my wife is playing it. I'm playing it. My 13-year-old likes playing it. Like trying to get across those demographics is, I thought, pretty amazing. The time on page is like 10, 12 minutes right now. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm going to design today with um, a develop a designer I met on Twitter, Damien. Uh, uh, I'll be retweeting some of his designs. He's going to redesign the look and feel of it. I'm going to make it like a Wordle where everybody does the same pyramid every single day in the world. And then you can compare your score, your time, your moves to somebody else. Oh, um, and cool. I'm going to try and go for some virality of it. And there's also going to be a game mode so you can practice and an easy mode for beds where you're guaranteed to win and, and you know, stuff like that. And then uh, it's be, it's getting beyond my programming skills. So I'm probably need to going to need to hire somebody to help with some programming, but like, it's not a great investment, not, not an enormous investment in it. And again, I could redesign it and fail on the development. Big deal. I could redesign it and the development could work and it, you know, and then it doesn't go anywhere. Big deal. Like I wrap it up. I tried something like, Mm -hmm. you know, I think we as business people need to get in the ring and try something. And I have the opportunity to try something on one of the best domain names, a seven-figure domain name, um, and I want to give it a shot. I'm in retirement. I'm going for it. I'm going to have some fun. I, I'm going to just nuance that with, I think yeah. everybody should know their strengths. You are a builder. That is your core being. And so for you, this is your natural habitat. And not only do I think it's a great idea, but I would encourage it like totally. For me, taking one of my super premium names and playing with it, building something on it is the equivalent of like taking an empty lot on, you know, Park Avenue in Manhattan across from the park and being like, I'm going to set up a lemonade stand. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, I think it's great. I, you know, I was thinking about it yesterday and this model, though, of what you're doing with simple games actually could be an alternative to parking because, you know, I, I with Google now blocking ads, you know, parking is getting just a beating. Yeah. Um, we haven't innovated on parking in, I don't know, Amar. Have we ever innovated on parking? <laughs> no. And so we've been like, trying. They're neat. Some, something needs to be done uh, because we do have valuable traffic and it's being misused and under monetized um, and uh, something needs to be done. And so I was thinking about like simple games that people have a proven, there's a proven track record that people like to play might actually be a really interesting, there might be, yeah, I don't know. Utilizing AI to basically display interesting ads for that particular person, but capturing their attention with simple games might be an interesting model. Yeah. I think it's the best. I think it's, yeah. It's the, it's probably the highest utility for run of network traffic, like just broad interest traffic. What's the one thing that we can basically narrow them in on is maybe simple games. Yeah. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to refer that this portion of the show to Bill Kara because I've heard a rumor that he might be going um, back into game again after all the success that nice. he's had in the space. Yeah. Bill Kara, he's, he's a maniac. He, he can get yeah. stuff done. He's a, he's a sharp cookie. Yeah. So uh, anyways, uh, thanks for everybody in the industry that played pyramid, sent me some suggestions, uh, posted their, uh, their times. I tell you, Dynadot, freaking A. They, I don't know who runs the Dynadot Twitter account, but they, Scott, they got something like a 34 second pyramid solve. Like it's the reigning champ. They're the reigning champion right now. 34 seconds, damn. It, they shut me down. Like, yeah, it took me, it took me until yesterday to get a 49 second pyramid. And I'd never broken one minute before then. So All right. now you got, I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to have to do it. And then I'm going to get competitive. And then it's going to get, ugly. let's go, baby. I'm messing JT's with it right playing now. right now. I am. I'm, and I'm doing okay. I, I, I don't, I, I did a screenshot, but I don't, it doesn't say how long it took me. Oh, you cut off the top of it. I know okay. we're going to be redesigning that as well to, to, uh, um, that's what she make said. More shareable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that reference was too so we'll just keep it moving because i'm tied up right now playing pyramid solitaire i um, guess who I, that's what she said dot com <laughs> <laughs> do you really was, do you own that it was super cool though 
Um, but I agree with, I look, I think that, I think your approach, I mean, you're such a smart dude. And I think to Drew's point, right. It's like to utilize these domain assets in a proper way, it's like, you need either time or money or passion. And, you know, it's, um, well, can't wait to see how this pans out, man. And I think yeah, you're, I'm having fun with it. So. All right, cool. Well, we got that one. Um, we have time to run through maybe one more. Do you want to talk about this micro naming trend? You want to save that for another show? Is that something we can get into quickly enough? Is there, do you want to disclose um, the uncontested backwards? Yeah, domain? I feel like I shared it. And so like um, people wanted to hear it. Let me just share it real fast. So, so you know, I'm, I'm getting more and more into development, more and more into hanging out with creators, creator full um, and builders. And so one of the, uh, I go on producthunt.com. If you haven't seen that recently, every day, the brand new products that are either relaunched or launched or going out there, they get upvoted by the creator community, people that are building things. So it's a real, you know, community focused on builders. Yesterday, the number one um, launch was a company called Supabase, S-U-P-A-B-A-S-E.com. They launched on. Um, huh. They had massive support. People love them. It's an open source database alternative to what Google owns, which is called Firebase. And so I started looking at Supa. I'm like, why did they pick? Like, I get base because it's database, but why did they pick Supa? S U P A. And then I ran across Supa Star, uh, Supa, Supa Share, which uh, helps people share images on Twitter without, you know, uh, making them beautiful. And I ran across Supa Starter, which is like this starter template that allows you to get a website up and running quickly. Um, and then I started like. Is this Supa thing? It, Supa is sort is of it like S U P P A. No, not no, one Supa. P. Supa, yeah, S-P-A. one P. It's like super, but it's slang for super, and it's okay. like the stylized version um, that conveys the idea of something you know superior, like superior something. And so then yeah. I start looking at like other companies out there, like um, who else is using Supa? And there's a lot. So like I. And then I went on to the Afternic tool um, that that I helped build that um, is in Domain Discount Club. And I looked at uh, Supercharger is listed for 75000 I'm sorry, Super Supercharge, I think. Uh, I sold Supa. Supercharge.com last year for a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, super names are clearly good, right? Big. Super Key, Supercharge, Super you know, site, whatever, but Supa, maybe it's not quite as good, but it seems to be this, a swell that I see moving in the marketplace. Um, there's a lot that have been purchased, uh, on Afternic that I saw of high tech, you know, clearly this is, this is geared towards software, computers, internet, um, technology in general. So it doesn't make sense to use it for about any super, super dog bowl. <laughs> <laughs> So I went out and registered. What about Supa Dupa? Supa Dupa Dupa. Supa Dupa. That one. So I got like yesterday, I got Supa AR. I got Supa Chain. I got Supa Quantum. Um, oh, Supa Dupa is owned by your boy Dave Lahoti. Oh my God. How much does he want? I don't know, but you got to uh, talk you know, to him. You, you, you got to send a song and have a conversation with him. You have to sing a song and record it and send it to him if you want to buy one of his domain names nowadays. <laughs> oh man, I I I, God, the Piper, I, I, I have an appreciation because I like I like people that are outside the box. So I have an appreciation yeah. for Dave Lahoti, but man, this dude is his own worst enemy. He really is. He's just. Well, I had hey, a buyer for again. One of his names, if he's having fun, he just, yeah. He, I, you know, he doesn't care. That's it. I mean, I, yeah. I, I actually have a lot of respect for his method. I mean, it's just, he, he sets the terms and those are the terms. And then, you know, they, they look, he just, it, he just needs to lay out the ground rules to people up front because, you know, people then break his rules, but they didn't know that he had that rule. And then, and then right. all breaks. That's loose. the best part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like he plays by his I, own rules. He has no. So rules. let me just say this. I, I, for anybody that's known me for the what 12 plus years i've been 14 plus years i've been in the industry i never make recommendations about trends i am not a momentum buyer i'm not a trend buyer i never do that um but now that i'm playing more in the startup space and seeing the kinds of names that people are playing all it takes is one company with massive out um 
popularity to start a trend. I'm not starting a trend by buying anything. None of us are starting things. But if we see one company, like when I started I6 Sigma in the past, it was Jack Welch that made Six Sigma popular in corporate America. Um, and so uh, it takes one company to drive a trend. And I think Superbase might be able to drive the trend. So I, I picked up a handful of domain names. Um, do not buy a ton of these names. Buy the best you can. Or better yet, don't buy any. Uh, and then <laughs> a year from now, we'll see. Uh, I was probably wrong. Um, but, uh, you know, go from there. All right. What do you guys that think? Was, you, that was weird for a second. I thought Drew put another one of himself so he could outvote us. Like if there was like, Mark, exactly, that was, yeah, he's like, I need the majority here. <laughs> no, you know what? I, I, I had a VPN on and I couldn't go into a uh, 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 domain IQ because they don't let you go in with domain. So I shut the VPN off that disconnected me. So I had to log back on. <laughs> and I'm still um, just, I'm in, I'm in this game now that I can't get out of. Oh man. You're supposed to be hosting <laughs> this show. Where you, you can't put me on to some, something this cool and expect that I'm not going to get He's on a in. timer, man. He's right. trying to be- Listen, I know, it is on a timer. Thing up. I got to go pick up the kids. But yeah, I All think right. that the, uh, but hey, so to close the loop on that, uh, Mike, I think that is pretty, you know, very interesting insight to see about how to get ahead of trend. You think product, so product hunt as an example or as sort of like kind of the main thing you've seen so far as to how to get ahead of micro trends? What do you think is the... Um, yeah, so Product Hunt is definitely the trendsetters that are going on there and submitting. Um, you can either submit your own or somebody else's software as a service for the most part. Um, I submitted Pyramid on there just for the heck of it. It got um, some attention and some extra click through. So it helps if anything that you have online, uh, you can submit through there. I just like going there to see how people are innovating in the technology space. Most people are like, taking an industry, they're slicing it multiple times, and then they're tackling one small portion. Yeah. I like to see what they're doing, how they're doing it, what it looks like, the names that they're using, the domains that they're choosing to match their names, lots of SOs, lots of you know alternatives on there. I, I just like to keep abreast of, these are companies that are generally not funded that are uh, building on there. So yeah. that's that's the way I find Product Hunt useful. Yeah, no, and I think it's good. And I think it kind of speaks to the idea of, look, we're all trying to get an edge at certain points around trends and things that have, you know, obviously things that are huge and so, so big like AI, right? And that, you know, was a long time sort of, you know, incubating across, you know, the dot AIs and the AI domains. And then once it had its moment and it's kind of this inflection point, and then it's like, okay, now it's just, you know, it's just, it's an enormous rush, right? And there's yeah. real profit to be made for the folks that speculated and, and made smart bets early, although it's still speculation. So they are bets. It is bets are gambling. And, you know, I think trying to find any kind of edge, right? You can also look at what are names being registered, you know, look at some of the VeriSign data and some of the other stuff that come out. Like, and I think that's the one thing. And I saw somebody post about this, and this is the last point I'll make, and then we'll close this thing up because I know Drew's got to go. But, um, you know, it, it really is the idea that, uh, and I think it was Bar Bar who said it. Um, uh, Bar Bar, shout out to Barman. Um, but um, you can spend as much time as you want on domain investing, right? It's it's very open. You can spend no time. You can spend a whole ton of time. And I think it was actually time, Elliot. Yeah, yeah Elliot. That article. Yeah. Oh, was Bar might have prompted it. Okay, well, fair enough. Either way, and I think that that's a really important piece because it does show you that it's like, you know, you kind of get out of it what you put into it. Some people are naturally smarter, more intuitive, more clever, can kind of figure things out quicker or have angles that they can play that lead to success. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you're going to put in the time, you likely will have better results, you know, and that's where utilizing tools, things like Domain Sherpa, Name Bio, you know, DN Academy and other things like that that are available because Tools. they are there tools.net that's it and that's how we're gonna down buy it just for that's how you become that's how you become an invest star you feel me <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway listen guys thank you so much especially mike thank you so much for, for rejoining us it's been a minute let's not let this much time pass between now and the next we've got plenty of other things that we could talk about and we obviously have some work to do on the site in the meantime so appreciate you appreciate you amar andrew as always thank you so much and as i say on every single show to the audience thank you guys for tuning in without you there is no us please hit us up we obviously are very receptive to feedback and criticism as we even if it doesn't have to happen on 
the show itself, but it could happen in the sphere of social media. That's cool as well. And uh, we're definitely all ears and appreciate all of y'all. So uh, again, thank you to the guys on the show. Thank you to those of you at home listening and watching. And uh, we appreciate y'all. And we'll see everybody next time here on Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Thanks and peace out, everyone. Thank you. See everyone. 